After your mini photo file is set up, you'll see the screen will look something like this. You have the copy menu for making copies, obviously. When you go into that menu, you'll see it defaults to one copy, one-sided documents. So all you need to do is put your documents in the feeder and hit start if that's all you need. As you scroll down, you'll see there are a list of other features. And in a separate video, I'm going to show you how to customize that list so you can add or take away features from the copy menu, which applies to the scanning menu and the fax menu as well. When you touch this button, it will take you to the home page. You have your email. The email scanning um, will uh, send an email to any address on your corporate network. You enter an address by beginning to type. You can type in the address, but your system is set up to begin searching for addresses within your domain, your corporation, as soon as you start typing letters and you will see them displayed down below. Or you can go into the uh, address book icon and search from there as well. Again, as you enter letters, your system will begin searching for relevant addresses that match the letters that you input. As you scroll down, you'll see the one-sided, two-sided, and other uh, features that are available for email scanning. I want to point out as well, on your email and on your fax option, you have, on the fax menu, you have an option called previews. If you activate the preview icon, the machine will not only show you thumbnails of the documents that you have scanned, but it will allow you to add additional documents to the scanned image or to the fax job. Returning to the home screen, you'll find the fax menu is very similar. You touch this field up here to type in your fax numbers. Note that you can type more than one. And after you've added all the addresses that you want to send to, you can uh, scroll up and down. Let me just add a number here, blah, 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 enter. And you have one-sided, two-sided, etc. Similar features to what you have for copying or scanning, as well as a preview button, which allows you to add multiple sections to your fax document. Uh, you have a jobs queue, which is going to show you the status of your job and a list of jobs that have been completed. If any job is unable to be completed for some reason, when you touch the job, it'll give you a message explaining what you need to do in order to complete the job. You have an icon called device. If you touch device and about, you can get a lot of useful information about your system, including the serial number, the IP address, and so on. And this menu called ID card copy is useful for insurance cards, driver's licenses, canceled checks. Basically what this menu does is it copies the front and the back of a small document on one side of one sheet of paper.